Hello everyone! Many times you have to read some sort of values from the app settings file in our .NET project. But are we reading those values using the recommended approach? In this video, we will show you how to use recommended ways to read app settings values from the JSON file in .NET Core. Let's start! So, we have an app settings JSON file that defines some formatting options for our API. As we run the application, DI framework or dependency injection automatically pulls this piece of data in the I configuration service. That said, using this interface is one of the ways we can use to read the data from this file. To see I configuration in action, let's create a new controller. Choose an empty API controller, name it configuration demo controller, clear these things up and rename the main route to API config. For us to be able to use the I configuration interface in this file, we have to create a new private read only I configuration type field and name it configuration. Then let's create a constructor that simply injects this field. Now, with this preparation out of the way, we can create a first action where we will use this I configuration field to get the values from the app settings file. What we need is a get action first. This action will simply return an I action result and let's name it get is localize precision. Now, to get the localized value, we use the configuration field and call the get value of the bool type method and pass the formatting localize as an argument. As you can see, we have to specify the full path of the target JSON node, notably with the colon as the child node accessor. The formatting part is the upper level JSON property and the localized part is the nested one, as we can see in this file. We can extract the value of precision similarly by using the configuration and the get value method of type int and just provide a deeper nesting with formatting, number and then precision. Finally, let's return the OK result with a new anonymous object having the precision and localize as members. Now, if we start the app and send an already prepared request from the postman, we can see that we get the correct result. Using this method is recommended when we have a single top level property in our app settings file. But if we have nested properties, as we saw in our example, this approach can be very error prone because we have to type all the nested members manually as the method's argument. So let's improve this method. Pulling the whole formatting group is also possible by using POCO model that resembles the target JSON tree. To see how to do this, let's create a new class and name it number settings. We need two properties here, the string format and int precision. As you can see, the properties from this class are the same as the properties of the nested number settings JSON object. We also need one more class named format settings. Here we also need two properties, the boolean localize and the property of the number settings type named number. Now, we can easily map the formatting section to a format settings instance. To do that, let's get back to our controller and create a new action. 
Again, we need a get action, but with the formatting as the route part. This action will return an I action result and let's name it get formatting. To get all the format settings, we again use the configuration field and then call the get section method by providing the formatting as an argument. This method gets a configuration subsection with a specified key, in this case formatting. Lastly, we need to chain the get method and provide our format settings type to bind all the values from the app settings file to the properties of this class. Of course, let's return the OK result with our variable. Let's restart the app and send a predefined request. And we can see that we successfully mapped all the app settings values to the correct properties. This way of extracting group configurations is quite convenient and a lot better than the previous one. But there is even a better and more recommended solution, especially if we need it in multiple places. That's where the options pattern comes into play. To start using the options pattern for reading format settings, we need to configure it with dependency injection first. Let's do it in the program class. So, let's write builder.services and with the help of the configure extension method where we provide the format settings type, we establish the formatting section as the data source of format settings. Of course, to do that, we have to get the formatting section by calling builder.configuration.getSection method and provide formatting as an argument. This enables easy access to format settings just by injecting the iOptions interface anywhere we need it. To see it in action, let's create another controller, a web API empty one, and name it Options Demo Controller. Let's clear things up and change the route to API Options. Now, let's create a private read-only field of the format settings type and name it format settings. We'll map all the app settings values to this field. Now, we need an empty constructor. And as a parameter, we will add an I options of the format settings type and name it options. The I options interface must have the type of class we are going to map all the values to. Now, let's use our format settings field and assign the value of the options parameter by using the value property. And that's all it takes. By doing this, we have mapped all the required values to all the correct properties inside the format settings class. This is much simpler and recommended way to deal with configuration groups. Of course, to test this, let's create a simple HTTP GET action. It will be a public one with the I action result return type and let's name it simply GET. Also, we'll simply return the OK result with our field. It can be simpler than this. So, let's run the app and send the prepared request. And we can see all the values as a result. Awesome! You can clearly see why this is the recommended way of extracting values from the app settings file. That said, please let me know what ways you are using the most when extracting values from the app settings file. It is always great to hear other people's opinions and why you use that exact way. You can drop the comment in the comment section below. With all this covered, we will finish the video. If you like the video and want to support us, please hit that like button and subscribe. Of course, there's that bell button you can click to get notifications from our channel. Thank you for watching 
and I hope to see you in the next one as well. Until then, all the best.